Hey, thanks for staying with us. You see, we're back. Our camera girl's back from Florida. Enjoyed a few days with her dad down there. But now that she's returned, I hope she realizes that she's not going to be eating any more of this, but a lot more of this. See, in the Byzantine church, as we approach Lent, what we do is we have, for instance, last Sunday, it's kind of like our Mardi Gras, it's called Meat Fair Sunday, where we give up meat, meat products for the last time. Then what we're going to do this Sunday is called Cheese Fair Sunday. We're going to give up the rest of it, dairy products, you know, the butters and the cheeses and eggs and all that. In other words, what we do is we abstain from all the fatty foods during Lent. We abstain from all those things that are done and eaten for like celebrations, you know, rich banquets and so on. And we do that for 40 straight days. That's right. We give up meat and dairy products for 40 straight days. I'll wait till you get up off the ground. That's right. But the reason we give up foods, especially the fatty foods, you know, the celebration type foods, is because we're doing penance. But penance means, and abstinence means, we pull away from things and we give them up, so to speak, to renew our view of them. Not because they're bad or it's just like a spiritual gymnastics and we go right back to eating meat and everything like that afterwards. We return to these things that we gave up in a more measured way. In other words, where our desires, our passions, our appetites don't dominate us. We can live without it. We choose. We're free. That's why we pull back from it. Because take another look at it. Instead of a look of consumption, of appropriating, of like lust and so on, we look at it in a much more moderate way. Oh, I can appreciate this or I can choose not to have it. It doesn't control me. See, part of Lent is to overcome the tyranny of our fallen passions. And so we back away from many things, not just food, but other things as well, as we go into these 40 days of Lent. Today starts now our first journey, our first step in that journey of Lent. So the first thing we're going to do is work on the appetites, because if we can control this, the gut, we control our desire for foods, we can control our other passions as well. That's part of the goal of Lent. So stay with us as we journey through Lent. And... Uh, Say goodbye to these things, okay? <laughs>